We get excited about eco-fiscal policy. You can change our fiscal system in a way that will improve the environment and improve the economy into the future. The Eco-Fiscal Commission is a group of economists who believe that not only could we have better policy to protect our environment, but we could have better policies that would actually improve our economic outcomes. We've got advisors from the north, former mayors, former finance ministers from the west, former prime minister. They all have a different perspective about, about the country. They have a different perspective about what works and why and what doesn't work and why not. How we do eco-fiscal reform without increasing the overall scale of government. How we do the reform and address the, the fairness issue and protect the most vulnerable Canadian families. How we address the challenges for the competitiveness of Canadian firms, very important issue. And how we do eco-fiscal reform in a way that does not lead to redistribution of resources across provinces. So why not rejig that fiscal structure? Singapore introduced water pricing and actually used the revenue to, to go back to low-income households. Denmark has used carbon pricing, as has British Columbia, very effectively. London in, in the UK uses road congestion pricing to reduce congestion and the pollution and the productivity loss that comes from people sitting in traffic for hours. We are taking examples from around the world and trying to decide what can work and what can't work given the Canadian context. Canada lags behind many other OECD countries in terms of using eco-fiscal policies. We can not only make our policies better by following their lead, there's opportunities for Canadian firms and we can be better. If not now, when? Canadians have to be part of this conversation. This is about Canadians, and it's about Canadians making choices about what happens in their economy and their environment for the future. So pull up a chair and join the conversation.